people of South Africa and the world, from wherever you're watching, we just want to say hello and welcome to the Wednesday Warm Up with me, your host, Lee, and I've got my trusty psychic with me, the one, the only, the phenomenal, the extraordinary, <laughs> Mr. Miller. Top of the morning. Hello. Top of the morning. Thank you so much, Leandra. Wow, what an introduction. Thank hey, you man. so much. I really feel honored right now. You know, I actually feel like... Those words that you were mentioning right now. But nonetheless, top of the morning, top of the afternoon, and top of the evening to wherever you're joining us from around the world. Man, it is going to be an awesome show. I cannot wait. There's some drama. There's some suspense. It's Ooh, going to pop in this place. I cannot wait. Um, such an interesting guest all the way from the mother. The mother the, the city. Ma the motherland. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but also, before we get into that, we've got the the, the most good looking, <laughs> the the scrumptious, hey, man. the tasty. Come on! I want an only more, inside more. chef. Give me more. That hasn't that hasn't made anything for us for the past month. But anyway, he, he is still Mr. Was cooking good looking Jezza. Hello. What well, one to all the viewers out there? <laughs> How y'all doing? You know what? In life, in life, I respect mother so much. Ooh, hey. Bring it because now that I'm staying in my own place, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. When it comes to cooking, uh. I ask myself, self, yeah, what are you doing What are we eating today? Come on, then now. I look at myself and I say, you know what? There's two minutes noodles. <laughs> yes, high five. Yes. Come on now. Come on. You've got to improvise. You see, Mr. Winging It. Wow. This is the reason why he's the master wow. of winging it. Thank you, Jezo. Gee Thank you words. so much. But Mother's Day is coming up. So I see what no, you did Mother's there. Mother's Day, I'm, hey? I'm going to cook so you, something oh liquor for goodness. Mother's Day. You're already like wow. just hoying it out there to say that we appreciate your mothers. You, yeah. a man of vision. Oh you know what? You're a man of vision. Well you know what? On that topic, actually, yeah. yesterday... I tried making crunchies. You know the jungle oats crunchies? Yes. Ooh. I made it for the first time and it really went well. High five to well say. Done. So, well so done. I'm in the process of teaching myself how to cook and all of that. Yes. Because I'm at home, I'm studying and all of that. And on that, my, myself yes. and my wife's uh, brother, yeah. we made tamaleki. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I, you we guys. made burnt sugar <laughs> and it tasted good. Why can't you burn the sugar? Why can't you burn the why, sugar? Why can you not? Hey, why you not? Know? It's but tasty. But I think I think we should actually. I, I think I'm gonna make some crunchies and I'm gonna bring it to the Wednesday next warm up week. Next, next week. week. Let's Definitely. let's make it I'll, on. Let's yes, make it on. I'll make tamaleki. You make tamaleki. But you make the, the crunchies. <laughs> <laughs> bring the sugar. Yeah. We make the sponsor for Jungle Oats as well. Groceries is expensive, people. Please, okay. But if you out there and you want to sponsor us we are all open to it so we're putting it out there to you whether it be spa woolworths checkers <laughs> shop right you know we don't care we don't um econo foods yes. you know food we, lovers market food, food, eight food, eight food, food. we're not eight sukaraha people we yes. are just here to promote yeah. Yeah. there's a bolton company out there as well yes um, Yes, yes we, we're just we just putting for it some out there. We're putting it out there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we have an exciting program. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Ribaka. Yes, <laughs> that, that. I should have <laughs> done <laughs> that. <some. laughs> <laughs> 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 uh -uh. Oh, 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 stop it. Okay, so we've got an exciting program and we've got an absolutely amazing guest. I'm telling you, I absolutely love this guy. He is such a vibe. His personality, his vibe, his mind, everything is just absolutely amazing. Okay, mm, 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 so before mm, we introduce mm, him, we're going to go over to the segment here on the Wednesday warm up that we like to call Breaking News. Mr. Miller. Thank you so much. Oh, on the breaking news, but before we get into that, I just want to send a birthday shout out. It is J Paris week. So birthday celebrations Ooh. coming all the way Ooh. from Paris. Yes. Birthday shout out to you, my boy. Oui, oui, um, he's Paris. on the morning shake with Zega <laughs> Hendrix on the Monday. So we just want to send a shout out to you, broski. And he's in your fields with the Unk on a Friday. And yes. he's in the fields with... Wow. Man, this guy is like... And he's in the Wednesday warm up behind the camera. Wow, but what a, a guy. But more than all us now him. and then. He's all been serving. Him. Like, he's been at <laughs> it, you know? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that, Paris. I was ex 
You know what? Vision. We, we, we're going to get, we're gonna we're get gonna Paris a mic. We're, we're going to get that. Paris a mic. We're going to set him up with a mic and we're going to get a camera on him. 100%. Solely. But let's yeah. get into we'll the juicy. We'll also put the camera on our producer there also, <laughs> yeah. Shame. Because he's sitting there so silently. Clint, Every we now see and you. again. We see you. <laughs> but so. let's get into it. So basically, um, coming through with COVID-19 news this week, we have a cargo ship from India quarantined in Durban port after 14 crew members tested positive. Mm, sure. So we do understand that in India right now, the wave, the COVID wave is crazy. It's mm. insane. There's people's bodies laying all over the show. People are being burnt. It is crazy. Yeah. And now we are expecting a third wave in South Africa. Apparently, one of the guys on the, uh, the cargo actually died. So now they've been quarantined and we don't know what's going to happen next. So... Mm. So, yeah, that's basically what's happening on that side. And then also we do have, um, we do have the, the, the Twitter trending topics right now. Prince KB busted for cheating um, as saucy screenshots leak with him and girlfriend. Hey, Prince KB. Now he's no more. So Prince. we know that Prince <laughs> KB is a well-renowned DJ and he does, he uh, produces really amazing I'm music. Yes, and unfortunately, no, this is really a situation. Who's the guy no that mix. came up with Jerusalem? It's not that no, one. No, 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 no. Okay. That's Master KG. Oh, sorry. That's Master, Master KG. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about music, we also got um, none other than J. Cole dropping on the 14th of this month. He released a post yesterday. Yes, yes. And he's been saying that he... Uh, he's been working on it for quite some time now. When so was his last album? I think like 2018 or something. Most probably. I think so it was back then, 2018 was the last time he dropped. A good few years put into that album. So we're quite excited for that. And that is basically uh, the breaking news topic um, for this morning. Mm, short awesome. and sweet. Short no XRP and today. Sweet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we'll speak about we're it next week. We're not talking about trading. We're not talking about currencies. We're not talking about crypto. We're not talking about virtual wallets. Thank <laughs> God. Because that's what we talk about every week. Because these traders. <laughs> so I'm, oh, so we dropped. Okay, not okay. a lot. Drop it like it's hot. Still in profits Drop though. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Speaking about dropping it like it's hot, we're gonna go into a little warm up just to loosen the you muscles, know? get the blood flowing, yes, yes. so that we can introduce our guest because that's what everybody is here waiting for. Okay, that's so. Correct. Let us see. Jess, you've got the warm-up for us. What oh, are we going to okay. do? Okay. Um, oh, Jesse. This is one. Since our guest is so sitting, he can join in on this warm-up. So we'll also stay in our seats. Okay. And then, um, is the music she's not play? <laughs> it's not make sure. It's not make sure. Oh. Okay, we just need to... Well, while we're waiting for the technologies to come along you know come to, to the party to come to the party because it seems like technology is always late <laughs> always african time Aye. with technology Aye. but um just tell us um briefly explain to us what kind of warm-up we're gonna be doing here today Aye. there we go hey. so the warm-up we have today it's a mixed warm-up it's called um Go with the flow go with the flow okay. yes that's the name of the warm-up okay go with the flow yes okay uh. Say manly. Hey, hey, yes. Whoa. Come on. Uh. I like this. Uh. And now uh. we're going to go into water uh. your garden. Okay. Sprinkler. Sprinkler. Yes. Sprinkler. Yes. Yes. Sprinkler. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You, 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 it's three. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Yes. Okay. 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 Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Ah, and then what happened? Okay. It's it's coming in. It's coming. Okay. In. So we must Lee? wait for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. We do what Lee does. Yes. Yes. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, but you must let it. The whole body must feel it, man. Ay. Yes. Okay. Now one, two, three, four, three. One, two, three. The sprinkler is coming. Two, three, and. No, it's first. Oh, snap. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Ooh, the choreographer. Ooh. Enrico, we need you to do this because yes, you please. are the professional dancer here. Yeah. Give us <laughs> give us one there, Enrico. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> a okay. move. Give us a move, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw 
throwing him out there. Okay, <laughs> let's let's kill the music. Let us bring our guest in so that he can show us actually how it's done. So, ladies and gentlemen, viewers who are watching all over the world, thank you so much once again for staying tuned with us. I'm going to introduce my my friend, my absolutely amazing genius of a friend. His name is Enrico Hartzenberg. I'm telling you, this guy is doing the things that need to be done yes. to the system to make it work. Thank you. Come on, <laughs> preach it. I'm out here preaching, brother. You got to get Holy Ghost fire. Come on now. But I'd like to introduce him to you. He is a South African actor. He is a dancer. He is a script writer and he's a producer. He's also the creative, um, the 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 creative developer of the series, this mini series on YouTube called Van Adams. If you haven't watched it yet, it's already on season two. So please do go and watch it. Subscribe to the channel. Like, do best, support local, support quality local. This local is not just lekker. local mm. as lekker, yeah. Yeah. and this local <laughs> as the lekker stuff. <laughs> so we just want to introduce him to you Enrico how are you doing Chat, I am good how are you guys doing we are awesome seeing your face put us in a whole new room. hallelujah yes honey yes <laughs> you, you are the vibe king you know you set the vibe wherever you go <laughs> egg is up die egg is up die speaking of which before you get into your, 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 your conversation, do you remember how you and I had our first introduction? My sister, I think it, it was at the service game fears, right? Yes. You yeah. got it. I actually got the video. Try it out. I was stopsy. I think I was stopsy too, right? Eh? You can find that video. It's WWU Enrico. That's what the video is for. It is there. Ooh, here we go. I can't okay, wait to see this. Okay, Clay doesn't have it there. I saved it on the on the preset yesterday. TIS Zoom. You didn't use that. Wow, wow, wow. I set up everything. I set up it beautifully. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he doesn't have it. He used the wrong preset, but that's all good. That's all good. So we would I was dancing. I was living my best life. Um, what was the song that was playing? I can't even remember the name, but the song was playing. And you intercepted the video so smoothly, and you were like, she must know. And that is how Mr. Enrico Hartenberg came into my life. Just like that. I just want to say I watched the, I watched the video. Ne? Your hair was still quite short back then. Yes. And all I saw was, and you had a, a shirt on. I don't know where you were, but you had a shirt on. And I just saw, she must know. Yes. Yay. And out of the screen. She must know. <laughs> So Enrico, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Enrico Hartzenberg? Um, I always tell people I'm a storyteller um, because I do a lot. Um, I, I write, I produce, I act, I dance, and I also do PR as well for Cake Net for the events, right? Um, mm -hmm. And now I currently have now my own business called Hartzenberg Films. And what we do now is we um, write and produce content and also do PR as well. Um, so I tell people I am a storyteller because I come in with different kinds of mediums of creating and telling stories. Yeah. Definitely. I deserve that deserve title. That. I know a lot of the times you throw around titles, but people don't do much with their titles. But I can honestly say that you are working them titles, brother. You are doing it. So... Kudos to you. Kudos to you. And tell us, where did it all start? Was it always like a thing? Were you always this? Did you know within yourself deep down for many years since you were a little piccanini that you were a storyteller? Where did it start? Yes, see, it, uh, when I was small, we have a thing called a stoop, a porch, right? And that up I stoop, I used to act and dance and sing and I can't sing, eh? And um, every time when my family walked past, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I meant, as I meant, as I meant. Oh, 
through slipping, slip, slip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so you, that was your stage. Um, my family always used to like stand still whenever I would go on and call me a small. And, and I think in high school, it, it, that's where I was like, you know, I want to, I want to be some sort of in the arts, doing something in the arts, right? And I, I recall the one time, you know, arts and culture, grade nine vibes and t- like grade nine vibes, right? So to him, yeah. like, you must prepare something or ever, ever, ever. And <clears throat> I was dancing at that time um, at high school. And from there, I, I told myself, Ni, I want to actually be, be, you know, telling stories. And I think from grade 11, I used to write, um, but not like write like as in a professional, but like just write like open stick papier. And really from there, it started to like spiral in until I, I told myself after high school, what is going to be my plan? You know, to first go study business and then acting. And that's how it all came to me doing Klomgoed. So tell me, bro, tell me. Did you, like, during your schooling years, would you, like, partake in plays? Would you direct plays? Did you always have, like, this creative mindset, dramas, whatever the case may be, for talent shows even? When I was um, joining the dancing group at my high school, I used to be the quiet one. So I used to be the one, but I will just take direction and 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 do my best. And then, um, but it's like in my mind, I'll be like, my girl, Dias need a movie. The movie is like this, but I wouldn't say it. I would just continue dancing and my 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 own business, honey. Until until grade eleven, when a teacher asked me to like be the 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 uh, second leader in the group that's when i start to you know come in uh, to rehearsals with my ideas and yeah. i mean i used to also be in the clubs guys i used to be a clubser and i'm still a clubser fan you know that yeah. you need oh, no. you know need oh, no. and in the one time actually like um there was a girl who's who was like a leader in any clubs uh, and then she used to train as whatever and then then one time any cop and oh, guys i'm telling you i just saw the yellow people and i saw my people and i was like niana guys i am done being at the back you comic four and two and i went to the front day eh? and i was dancing and i'm all, like a whole group fell down and like you know stamp on the ground and while I was dancing, I was crying because, like, it was such a vibe, man, you know? And they get high. I'm like, yeah, that is, I like that. And I'm all, I'm all scree. That moment I will never forget. Yeah, so yeah. it didn't get. <laughs> forget. Yeah, you even slapped him in a, in a note, then never forget. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't. <clears throat> where it literally f- fully happened for me as while I was studying at Bolan College Business, um, I sent, I was in that year applying for my own play at the Void Fears, and I sent out a mail to, to ask for funding. And basically I've just sent a mail to them. They literally called me back asking if I want to be a production manager on a show that they are going to produce at Baxter Theater. So then um, I always said yes, because I was like, hell yes. And then I went and I saw it's if I'm Gordon, up to Adam, Celeste Matthews, all these big colored South African actors. And I got to see firsthand how these people rehearse, how these people prepare the lines, how they come in. And one day when I saw um, Abdu Adams actually busy, uh, um, you know, going through his line with Jason Jacobs, I told myself, no, guys, this is it. Like, this is why I get circle trick and the block trick. This is where I'm, I am going to be, you know, yeah. Definitely. You mentioned something about our people and on our show we our tagline is from marginalized to mainframe and um there's so much potential within our communities and i feel like if there's a platform that is created like platforms like these platforms like the ones that you create i mean you yourself you are a creator you create platforms for other people you know what i'm saying i feel like there's so much more potential and so much more creativity that can come out from there so tell me what is the importance of of embracing within this in this because I'm sure I mean you work with South Africa is a diverse um, is a diverse country right so for me the question is 
how do you take diversity but still make it original to our narrative? How do you still take the diversity of our country and the diversity of the world but still make it unique and applicable for our people to understand through? Because I know that, I, I mean, I've watched some of your work. I've watched Van, Van Adams, uh, and it's a story of it's a story of family, power, struggle, strength, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Overcoming um, diversity and overcoming struggles within life and 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 becoming victorious out of that where do you get that inspiration from and how do you incorporate the diversity but still make it unique to our people okay so i'm gonna start with um, my my stage play i did at the u.s vote fest in 2018 right mm -hmm. that is a story of realism right it's about uh, um, three young colored uh, um, children surviving in a in a kind of a really like a dilemma because um, and, and I mean, from that play and seeing the, the feedback of the play, I, I knew that in that moment, what I'm doing or, or how I entered was at, was at an entry point where people would really buy into what I want to do. And what I want to do is bring a sense of healing to especially the colored people, you know, and to change notions about how we can convey. And, and because currently what our, what our country is doing is first mising us as coloreds, then secondly, um, just showing like one part of us and forgetting there are other stories, such as people who's in, I wouldn't call it, well, they are in actually higher status, right? And those people, those colored folks feel underrepresented or, 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 or under or not presented on TV, you know, because those are the people who also made it out, out of the clothes of the ghetto. So seeing my, what my stage play did to people, and then I went back in my room and then I was invited to um, a photo shoot, right, by Rules Events. And then um, I was like, no, man, um, I know two people who I actually want to shoot with. You know, people who I admire, Leanne van der Rooij, who is my mentor, and she's been around for 26 years. And Leanne van der Rooij is the one actress for me that she will, you know what I like about actors is when they really expose the hurt of, of the character, because once she expose the hurt, the character can relate and, and you bring kind of a form of change to them so that they can be seeing like what, what they deal with. And when I... You know, I asked the end to come to the shoot and Monique Rockman and we did the photo shoot and then while on set, I just saw characters coming alive. And then that for me was evident that we as cult people can also play higher status, you know. So I went back and I did the writing. I went like, God, what are you busy telling me? Like what, like what's what's happening? And then um like two weeks into I sent I sent a script to the end, and then she was telling me, I don't know what this is, but this looks powerful. And I was like, girl, just come on set, let's shoot this thing, honey. And then I got the people, the right people together. Um, because also what I'm trying to do is bring people up with me, like the rules events. I mean, they are a photography company, right? And they don't shoot uh, um, 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 motion pictures, right? And then I gave them a shot and they are delivering the works, right? Um, so I just make sure that what we do and how we do it, we make sure we make it relatable um, to the audience and whether it is exposing the hurt, whether it's coming through in the dialogue, whether it is, it is in the movement, you know? Um, so that is, that is what I, I, that is my anchor, what I come in with as making sure that still while we are playing in the, in the, we're playing as colored folks, but also trying to decolonize ideas about it as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think going I think to I that go real quick, um, I just want to understand, is this potentially like where, or, or rather, where did you draw your inspiration from? Um, because I know as a creator of myself, um, you'd usually have a moment where you're sitting somewhere, maybe under a tree, reading a book, or you look into the sky. You know how creatives are, man. You obviously look for 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 things to draw to to, to draw creativity from. So I just want to know where exactly did where did the moment happen? Where did that spark happen um, for you and 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 for um, the short series that you did on on YouTube? 
Um, on the day of the photo shoot, right, I saw how these characters look. I worked with two actors, or well, with three actors on set, right? So Leanne and Monique, I do, Monique has some but experience of doing stills, right? And Leanne as well, like a biggie. But when you put actors in, in, in a space, actors like to create a world. They like to create, say, for example, I, I told them, I just want Leanne to be powerful. She must be the mother of dragons in the show, right? In this photo shoot. And then on the day I saw it. And then also because I'm a huge fan of Empire, actually Cookie Lion, you know, Chuck, it just, no, shit, just do it, honey. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so when I'm seeing what Lee Daniels and people like Patu also, Patu who's, uh, who's doing the river on, 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 on Mazanzi Magic and the legacy, Lee Daniels from the States who's doing, who's putting people of color in complex worlds. So I was thinking to myself also, and back then I didn't even watch yet the river. And when I, when I was writing um, um, or, um, for Adam sir, and just actually I was in my room sitting and I was, and I got the pictures and what I saw was a vampire family. But then I was like, ah, 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 die the world. Then I went back to, <laughs> I went back to the whole thing about I saw milk. Then I was like, what in all smart but like here? As he can any vankel hail of any animal hail of any clinic hail, the magant you oplag in a hand and have your boar's foot, right? And then I, I was like, I'm gonna give it to Leanne. I'm, I'm gonna let Leanne use this milk to capture these kids and make her her own because we are not actually not her own kids, you know? And then she's going to sell these kids into a life of fame and fortune, right? So we, we let go of, 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 how we, of how we get to that point and we just tell it from a story or a point of how this woman already got money, you know, but she lost her family and now she's, and she's trying to regain control by fostering these two, these two kids into a life of fame and fortune, right? And then... I was like, yeah, thy breast milk is going to be my entry point, you know? And yeah, and episode seven, there is where you see how the mother, how Leanne keeps me in the hand and she just give this whole um, controlling in the camera and I asked for it to be like first zoom and then slowly zoom out, out into her face. And I'm telling you, like it was a challenge for me to at times um, act and still having like, like my, because I, I didn't direct the play, right? Um, it actually was direct, directed the first season by a white person because I, I, I really wanted, um, you know, the, all people from different walks of life to, to really, because I like a collaboration. I like people to also come with their ideas and also really, you know, um, help directing or, or, or pushing the story out. And Philip Theron did an amazing job with the first season. And with the second season, I then looked for a brown skin director to, to, to now take on, because with season two, it's more elongated. It's more, it's, it's more, it's, 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 it's longer, you know? Mm. And, and it, it, it was challenging for me to put a 45 minute episode into a 45 second episode. Um, you know, yeah, and also thinking about how people is how people. I need to understand also how how my platform is going to understand my product. I knew that I had to first season must be very short because the main is a data. You know, I just uh, yeah, yeah. So donkey, <laughs> donkey. But something that was really so significant for me and I rewatched because I watch Van Adams uh, like it's my, well, yeah, I'm addicted. I binge watch it. So yesterday again, I binge watch both season one and season two. And like you were saying, a skort in a skrachtig. So I could get through it quite fast and still do my other work. But in season one, episode five, it opens up with a shot of, it's a blurred shot. And then it like focuses on Leanne sitting on a, on, on a couch, right? The character of Leanne. Um, that she plays and 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 you your voice comes through you play the the, the role of of Damien and I don't know was it significant that you used Damien Damien and Donna for dragons and she is the mother of dragons was there something there um 
No, well, I, I no uh, the the I mean the 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 reason also why I opened with the voice of of James to doing with episode five exactly doing 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 kind of an interview and the mother listening to them doing an interview right because that is what episode is about um and then showing like a the it's like a flashback of where they come from right um I yeah. think that was just my idea to to show to show a a a a a, a present moment versus a, 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 a you know a, a past tense moment you know um, and also what I'm trying to do in the episodes is playing the present versus the past and I try to put in different moments as well because with my series I really want people to pay attention to detail you know mm. yeah but I talk a lot now. <laughs> No, 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 we love it. We when love the it. guest is just because we, we this is this show is about you today. But I just want to read this line, um, this this part that that, that you say. You say, um, "Ik denk allemaal weer da- waarvan um, dan ik en Donna kom." So in English, for our English viewers, it says, "I think you all know where Donna and I come from. Um, we come from a small town called Paul, and we have worked really hard to get where we want to be." But this is not yet where we want to be. For me, that was like a moment. And I was getting teary-eyed because I feel like this is the narrative of our people. We work really hard. You know, it's like you, you, you basically spoke for an entire community of marginalized people. When you say, you all know where we come from. Exactly. And that's what it did. That's what it did to me yesterday. I'm sitting at my desk and I'm busy crying because I felt what the writer was feeling. And the way it came through and the, the, the power of Leanne sitting there, like you were saying, amalgamating the past with the present. It was in such a beautiful manner, but yet you managed to incorporate the future with that last line that almost like fades out in the end. And then the story continues where you say that you all know where we come from. And we have worked really hard to get where we are. But we are not there where we want to be. I'm telling you, I was that moment for me. And you encapsulated what you, you, you were a voice in that moment for an entire race of people whose cry is that every single day. And for me, I just want to commend you for that work. When, when, when the reason why I, I, I really opened with that line was because the whole South Africa knows that we have also been part of the struggle. We, we, have, also, we have also been part, they all know where we came from, you know. And I really, I really want our, our people to realize that that, um, that is not the end for us, you know. They, 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 they is, as much as as we are in the ghettos and 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 seeing how this system is trying to keep us there, you know, um, and it might sound cliche is to, to say you must work hard, whatever, but but that is not where we are gonna stay forever, you know, and that is why I I I, I always say thank you to the people before us, you know, that June van Meers, Denise Newman, Leanne van Ruys, people who has worked really hard back then. So that someone like me can stand now on a stage and create my own show. Because it wasn't it for them, guys, how uh, Mamela. I don't know where we would have been. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're you actually working with an all-star cast, which is absolutely amazing. In fact, when I was when the credits rolled, and I even saw in wardrobe, we've got the very own Miss Crystal Donna Roberts. <laughs> How, boy, you are just bringing together all the stars. You are like picking them from the heavens, and you are putting them together in a constellation of your own. <laughs> but it's also, it's also, it's also about me going. I have studied business, right? And I go, yes. and now I need to negotiate with a bunch of professionals, right? And because I don't have money, honey, so what do I do? I, I thought about an, 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 an other way. So I went away. I was looking at a marketing agreement saying that if you are on my show, I can market you for a bunch, like for this month, and put you in, in, in good media forms, right? And then with Crystal, um, Crystal actually with our our our, our um, trailer for um, Say Soon Ian, 
Crystal was pulling the the gown, man, the gown for when um Leanne comes in, you know, and then literally I was telling Crystal, Crystal, my sister, you are officially hold the rope. You are a whole SAFTA winning artist. Crystal won a SAFTA for playing a role in the tour. And it is so amazing how she is humble to come on my set and just do the, the order of us and, and order just doing that one trick. But look at what amazing. It was her idea to breathe, to show how this gown or, or, or rope is breathing, right? And that for me was already where I was like, Nikarasa uh, Jaime Sasta, JS officially order of girl, you know? Cause, yeah. cause, because essentially, we, we, you, see, you see when a bunch of minds come together to, to, to really bring change, you know, it really comes through in a massive form, you know. And also what I, in my wardrobe, I don't want us to, to, to look cheap, honey. We, we, we buy the cheap clothes by thrift shop. My official guys, we look the money. We give the people what they want. <laughs> Also, yeah. Topic. So you also like for your for your shows and stuff and what you do on YouTube. Do you also go to the thrift store and pay like twenty rand, thirty rand, ten rand for clothing? Guys, it's very important. I don't know who's who's buying still. Uh, um, for even you, uh, twenty one. Uh, no, guys, there's a whole thrift store. Guys, there's a, a, a whole dice sh- shop can literally save you a uh, five hundred. You know. Even the fur coat I, I, I'm wearing, guys, that coat was a little look 120. People are being too much. I'm, I'm actually, you see, you see this denim jacket that I'm currently wearing with the hole on the inside? Uh, uh. I got it for literally 30 rand. What? So, yes. so. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Come on. <laughs> you look at you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so, um, yeah, so we've got, I'm just going to drop some names because I just want to brag here for Van Adams and hey, the people that's in it. You know, we've got Leanne Van Roy and she is, she's a legend. She is a South African diamond. She is a gift to, 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 to the, to the entertainment community. We've got Enrico Hartzenberg. We've got Monique Rockman, Earl Hendricks. We've got <laughs> Marlo Manar Yalla. We've got Naeem Hughes in the first season. That's just season one, people. Okay. Then we've got, and in repeat in season two, we've got Leanne Van Roy again, Enrico um, Hartzenberg. We've got Monique Rockman. And then we've got the introduction of Bianca Flanders. We've got Keenan Arison, Caleb Felix, and Emily Rose Van Dimo. Am I pronouncing the same names correctly for, for some of them here? Did, perfect. Halle- perfect. Oh, absolutely amazing people oh my gosh and you know what i just mentioned their names because are we going to go into a challenge now and the reason why i wanted to mention their names because i just want to put a disclaimer out there that the challenge that we're gonna do we can never do justice to what you guys <laughs> did in your because that took year that, that took time and preparation yes. there was a lot of emotion put into it and we cannot do justice to that but because we've got the creator himself in studio we had to take advantage of this and so put ourselves out there you yes. know because in case we can also do in this case he's looking to cast yeah if, if you, you like what you see future. um <laughs> Uh, we can send through our CVs. Um, there's not much on it on my side. Um, probably just the inside show what you see now. Um, so basically, I'm sending my CV to you now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Via wording. <laughs> So, th- so this is the challenge that we're going to do um, for those of you who are still watching, right? Because we've got the creator himself of Van Adams in the studio. So we thought, you know what, guys, we're going to do a little improv challenge. An improv challenge. So Enrico is going to choose an episode from season one for us. We're going to watch the episode and then we have to reenact it. Okay. We have to reenact it. So Enrico, any, any, any episode from season one? I would actually... Um, want to see actually episode one because that is where all the shade is happening, honey. Where all the love is coming from. So episode one. Okay, 
I'm going to watch make episode one quickly. And to all our viewers, it's, it's the longest episode. I think it's like a minute or something. So we, we won't be long. We're just going to watch the episode real quick. Yes, okay? yes. We won't, <laughs> we won't be long for sure. But not, not, not taking away the fact that we actually, uh, Enrico, if you must know, we, we actually do have the capability of acting. We were actors at mm, one stage mm, mm, um, mm, in, in, in Leandra's <laughs> scripts and dramas and theatrical <laughs> production <laughs> that she used to write. You know? Yes. So... We were like, you know, we've been doing it for almost, what, 10 years? Yay! Has it been almost 10 years? So, <laughs> so we, yeah. we, we, do have, we do have some experience on us. I, I also just want to say, the young girl who's also in my show, um, um, who plays Ashley Ann's uh, daughter, Zania Rose, right? And yeah. Zania Rose, she, she's Miss Petite of South Africa for 2019. And that is so young, Kalna. So young, Kal. Kijk, Fayala. Yeah, so what I will say is, Munosi Lachif, Munosi Lachis Fati, Enrico. Yay! Okay. You can take me, Lachis. I'm not putting myself there because. I'm, I've been out of practice no, for listen, many years. No, listen, here, listen, listen, listen. You can also take me, Lachis, because if I am competing against Leanne van Roy, then you better take me, Lachis, boy, because wow, wow, we are talking about Miss Leanne van Roy here, okay? And Monique Rockman. So I'm just putting it out there. So let's just press play quick. No, no, no. no we, we're just viewing we, it real quick. For the viewers, you can go and watch. Okay. Yeah, to all the viewers, please. So we've got um, your okay. father on the floor. Mm. Original, Original sin. sin. That's episode one. The death the of death Dio. Of Dio. Mm. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Mm. Okay, so we've got the three of you standing. Okay. Okay. So right, season Stand. one. Okay. That's it. That's perfect. That's it. That's perfect. That's a wrap. Okay. That's yeah. perfect, right? So we've got the father laying on the floor. Okay. Um, he's just been. He. Am I correct in saying that he? He has been the death of Dio. Yes. He's, he's dead, honey. He's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then we've got the three of you walk. Where are you walking to? We are walking into our place. Cool. Okay. Then you stand there. But for me, it's the expressions on the face, man. Yeah. You're so we're going to have to choose characters real quick. So who's going to play the lead of Helen? You choose. You, yeah. you, you're going to do okay. the casting. You say who. Okay. Okay. Equally. Okay. Equally. Okay. Leandra, Billy Ann, B. Helen, um, um, ah! and you on the, you with a stripe, B, 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 Damon, and Monique. Okay, Jean Damon. Biden. Damon. Okay, I'm, okay, okay. And Eka, a sec, a sec, Monique. Monique, yeah. Monique. Broman. Donna, yeah, the sister. Why not? Up in the other end. Okay, let's see. Right. So, yes, we don't need to do the opening scene. Okay, you can play two characters there. You can be Dio. Okay. You must play, yeah. Move your mic. Okay. 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 Okay, we're just going to wait a a second. We're going to wait a second. So, Enrico, okay, so what what is it that you really want to see with this, with this, with this episode, what do you want us to achieve in this? Because you're the director here. Right? I just want you guys to be, especially Damon and Donna, right? You guys just Damon came from your, you guys just came from your father's funeral, right? And you are, you, you are knowing what happened to your father, you know? You guys already know that Helen somehow has something to do with the death of your father, right? And okay. Helen doesn't give two Fs about what happened. She just comes in and she's the mother and she now has full control over these two kids, right? Okay. Like her. Got it, okay, right.
Helen. I am Helen, oké. Ik vertolk die rol van Helen. Oké, okay, yeah. recht. Okay, okay. So opening scene. Opening scene. You will be Dio as well. Come on, Cindy. Oké. Okay. We want to see how, how, well you, how well he does the death scene, eh? We want to see. Wow. The legs weren't like that. It was straight. No, they weren't. Who dies with straight legs? <laughs> he, he dies with straight legs, okay? Look there. That's his, his face. The opening scene. Come on, look at this. His hand here. Ah, this okay. here. Oh, you're right. You're Thank right. you. You're right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We just want to get it correct, okay? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Can you, can you see, Enrico? Jay just showing the face. Here. I can see. Okay. You can see. Right. So it opens up. Tun, 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 tun. Okay, let's cut. Next scene. Jess, Thanks, Jess. Well done. Okay, we cut. Okay. Yeah, it's done. In, in position. You walk first. I walk first. You want the left hand side. You want his right hand side, okay? I'm that side. Yes. Yes, yes. Director. Director, what's it, Jay? You guys must like the, the part where he and they sit and, and they drink um, oh, um, in vain. Yes. Yeah. You sit in vain. Yeah, Ooh. Ooh. Hey, jammer director. Okay. We, we ask for for squirning. <laughs> okay. Back to opening scene, people. We we are starting over, okay. and that was a cut. And okay, let's That's let's go take again. One. Take, take one. one, take two. To just uh, uh, Helen might just come from a point where she is coming from, from the funeral, so now she has full oh. full control over the family. And Donna, Donna is obviously Donna is emotional. She's hurt, and Damon is is, is trying to be strong for for Donna's sake. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. You don't want to borrow me your leather, um, your leopard print? No, I can't borrow you my leopard print, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be just watching quickly. Okay, boy. He's ha it's hanging so. Okay, right, are you ready? Hang it, Subikia. Okay. Whenever you're ready, director, just call it for us. And leave the shot. <laughs> take two, take two, take two, take two. Come, guys, take two, take two, take two again. What is it that? Well, I, saw I want I Damon to three. I want Damon. To actually um 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 look give Helen a fell cake. Give Helen the fell oh. cake. Um and, okay. and be 
and be in support of Monique, uh, um, um, Donna. And Donna, stand there, but emotional, while keeping onto your jacket. Since I'm um, so put the emotion into your jacket, were you keeping it? Yes, yes. Look up. I always tell my actors, we never look down. We look up straight. So look up straight. Oh. And had and Helen, Helen, please model in. You have just, you have survived thousands. Ne? And guys, thank you. Too. Okay, thank you perfect, mother. Rolling, sound, rolling, and action. Yes, Donna. Yes, Donna. Yes, Diamond. Yes, Diamond. Yes, Helen, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now Helen, lead. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, well done. Guys, that are well done. Well, no, well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Director, Mr. Creative Genius, Enrico Hartzenberg. Can you believe that we have reached the end of our show? I am so sad. I am so sad. You were so. I just want to share something with you, real quick. Um, he was in Joba, guys. Oh, awesome! This weekend, and I saw too late because I wanted us. We could have even done a pre-recording of the show because it would have been amazing would have been to have so you in awesome. studio. But this is not the last time. Just for your information. <laughs> I'm coming back again. Um, 21 till 24 May. I'm going to pitch to to come in Joburg something. So I come here. I come here. <laughs> Got it, ladies and gentlemen. For viewers who are watching, we're gonna have Mr. Enrico Hartenberg in studio with us because that is gonna be flames. We're going to prepare something absolutely amazing. Our chef needs to cook something for you. You need to taste his Ooh, food. What's your favorite meal? What's your favorite <laughs> meal? <laughs> yes, chef. Um, weet je, ik is bij ook wel Bri nou Briani, ik is nou Briani. Briani, stamp in Stuart, uh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> 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 okay, so we're going to get Briani for you, Mr. Enrico Hartenberg. It was an absolute pleasure having you on here. I miss you so much. So we need to, when you come back, we need to catch up. Um, and we just... And we just want to wish you everything of the best. You are absolutely amazing. You are, Jim. You are a creative genius. And we thank you for the stories that you are creating for our people. We want more of it because, honestly, for me personally, it speaks to me. It speaks to me and it gives me motivation. It motivates me. Whenever I just need, like, a motivation, I always go to the Van Adams. I'm not lying to you. I'm not saying a word of a lie. I go and I check out those, like, episode five for me in season one, like I said to you. It's it's iconic for me. It sticks in my mind. And there's so many other scenes, um, so many other episodes that also do that to me. So I want to say thank you. And thank you for taking your time out to be on our show, um, meeting the gentleman here. Enrico. Gracias. Enrico. Gracias, Enrico. <laughs> Gracias. So we just want some closing remarks from you. Anything that you'd like to say? Encouragement to our viewers who are watching. Mm. Uh, I always tell people that whatever you desire and want, and and if you work hard on it, it's it's inevitable that it will come to pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, so you keep calling that Coming yeah, through always. <laughs> um, <laughs> just remarks from you. Now, from my side, just continue doing what you're doing. Um, you don't say much in your skits, but you say a lot. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, so yeah, so you're not saying much, but you say a lot when you do watch it. And continue doing what you're doing. You're pushing out people to to better limits and higher highs. Yes, <laughs> if that's even a thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, con. <laughs> no, but I love what you're doing, man. We really do appreciate it. It's nice to have someone that's also looking out for us to, to see how people move forward. So we, we appreciate that. Thank you.
And you, Mr. Miller, closing remarks. Enrico, one thing, my friend, one yeah. thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Merci. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you so much, Enrico. It was an absolute pleasure having you here on the Wednesday warm-up. Man, we just want to wish you all the best in your journey ahead. May God raise you up like never before in everything, in every script writing, in every drama, in every direction. Whatever it is that, that you know um, is going to happen moving forward, we just pray for God's favor upon your life, man. Mm. And keep on mm. doing the good work that you are doing. And hopefully we get to um, share the platform one of these beautiful yes. days. You know, we get to... Um, I thank you for bringing that uh, actor out of me again yes. um, yeah, this morning. So I feel like I can, you know, I can do a soapy now. I can do a soapy on my soapy, you know? So... Maybe an extra. <laughs> so an just extra let me know. Copy, copy. If you need talent for Fun, fun Adam, sir, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Thank you so much, my brother. All the best. Thank you so much, Enrico. Please don't go anywhere. We want to we want to catch up with you after the show as well, just for a few minutes. But to everybody who has been watching our viewers, the Wednesday warm-up viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do go out, show some love to Van Adams. Sir. They do have a YouTube channel. We will link it in the description below. So please do show some love. Subscribe, watch, be inspired, and just support local because local is definitely yeah. lekker stuff. <laughs> so thank you so much everybody we love you so much have a blessed week further and remember you made it halfway through the week you Yay. are special you are a champion you've got what it takes they're the wednesday warriors actually we should actually call them that the wednesday, the wednesday warriors, warriors. No. yes 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 Yes, next we're going to do the haka. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a blessed one. Until next time. Bye. Bye.